nobody here is going to be fired. I prefer the term release. We've got our severance, we've got our savings, and we've each wanted to start our own business for years now. So this is our chance. I think all of you have the capacity to do great things, to be leaders in your industry, which is why I propose a simple contest. At the end of four months, you will each present your individual plans to me. The company I like most will receive $500,000 in funding. The doctor said in Dino. Yeah. Are you scared? No. Here, I have something for you. You've been served. She doesn't drink. You said you would fire her unless she drinks. I'm building a video conferencing platform that uses two webcams along with my hardware in order to create holographic images. Jack, Lisa has an idea. Why would people use this technology? Uh, business. But also to connect with loved ones. Never miss a three-dimensional moment with C3D kind of thing. That's what I'm calling it, by the way, C3D. Bryn? You spied on us? I immediately regret my decision! It works. Oh my god, it works. Yeah. I don't know what the plan is, guys. Our old boss fired us and apparently enrolled us in some bizarre business contest. I don't know what to do with that. You have two options. You can have your old jobs back, or I give you half a million dollars. You get C3D off the ground. You've taken the first step. What happens next? Nice catch. Your throw. My throw. Nice throw. Nice face. June. Jack. What's a girl like you doing in a place like this, Jack? Being emasculated, apparently. Well, you can't blame me, can you? When you come into a bar dressed like this, you're practically begging to be hit on. I'm studying, actually. For your psychology finals. Yeah. How about this, Mr. Jack? How about you and I get into your car? I'm assuming you have a car. Oh, I, I have a... Big car. Great. How about you and I get into your big car, go to my place, and enjoy the night in a way very few people really let themselves enjoy a night. And in the morning when I kick you out, and Jack, I will kick you out, you can go to a coffee shop or a basement or wherever it is you do the thing you do. And while doodling almost creepily detailed doodles of our doodly wedding, you can go ahead and study your little heart out. How about that? June? I, uh, I know it's early, but I think I'm falling very deeply in love with you. What do you mean he's not there? It's 1.30 in the... Yeah, I just got here. What do you mean where? To San Francisco. I just got to the office. Did you call him? I said, did you call him? Hey, Sarah, did Jack call? No, sorry. Everybody asked already. Yeah, okay. I thought you were with him last night. Who, Jack? Yeah. I had dinner with him last night. I thought Bryn had dinner. I had dinner with him last night. I gave him the bullet points. We talked about diets. It was great. And? And we agreed that it seemed a little silly to have a cheat day. Saturday, I had a four-cake lunch. Let me repeat that. A four-cake lunch. Yeah, I was still on Jack. Oh, I have no idea where he is. Okay. She has no idea where he is, but she had a lot of cake. Did you text him, or...? I've tried every form of human contact. It's like getting the Pope on the... phone. Hi, Bryn. Hi, Erin. Did you bring cake? That was on Saturday. I can't have cake any other day. Saturday's cake day? It's a thing. Every Saturday? It's starting to feel like that. Well, I've looked in all of his favorite sleeping places, and I can't find him anywhere. This isn't great for us. What's trending is in a couple of hours. What's trending? That's right. No, I'm asking you. Yeah, and I'm telling you. Okay, Heaven Costello, it's an online talk show. A huge online talk show. Yeah, if you ever read your emails, Derek, you know that Jack is going on what's trending tonight to announce the product launch. No Jack means no interview, though, so... 
I knew this was gonna happen. What? This. This was exactly my problem with coming here. Just hear me out. Well, I'm in regardless. Yeah, you're in because you want to get away from the girl suing you for religious discrimination. Maybe I just believe in us. It's more the lawsuit thing. Yeah. If we say yes, we've got half a million dollars to work on a revolutionary product. Yeah, with Andy Corvell as our main shareholder. You remember him, the guy that fired us to teach us a lesson? Not to mention his little spy grin. I said I was sorry, unlike you who stole my server. Yeah, we obviously have a really strong foundation here. Regardless of the issues, we're all friends and we're all good at our jobs. You guys said you wanted to run a successful business. You said you wanted to be entrepreneurs. You said you wanted to be your own bosses. You got it. We have half a million dollars and we've got a gadget that'll make holograms a regular part of people's lives. Who in their right mind would say no to that? Yeah, except for the small fact that Andy wants us to move to San Francisco. Oh, no winter, the heart of the tech industry, and we're in California. It sounds terrible. Yeah, I have a family, Jack. Oh, that excuse isn't getting old. What about the CEO? What about him? Well, I notice he's missing on your board, and hey, so is your name. Right. Right. So that's a pretty important job, right? I mean, whoever has that job is pretty much the face of this whole thing. It's a huge responsibility. Yeah, so? I can't find my pants. I had this vague memory that they were in the oven, but they weren't. My bra was in the microwave, though? Were we cooking my clothes? Really? I don't know. Hello? April? May? September? No, that's not right. Um, June, June! I, I seem to have lost my clothes and the key to this handcuff. Someone is loud in the mid-afternoon. Someone needs to get out of here and get to a very important thing. Well, I would love to help that someone, but I've got my own thing to go to. And there's a small chance you swallowed the key. Why? I don't remember. Got weird. Okay. Okay. Well, I'll be back later. Don't go anywhere. Ah! Oh, I've always wanted to say that to a tied up guy. June, this is intriguing. It is, but I really need to go. I bet. Jack, where have I seen you before? I used to be a child actor. You're in the tech industry. I saw your picture in Mashable. Oh, the thing! C3D, right! The Holograms and magic. You're Jack Sather, the CEO. I thought you were gonna throw me out. I was, but you know what? You're just so cute, I think I wanna keep you. June. I know, you wanna go, but you know what they say. You take away a man's freedom, he stays. You give a man freedom. God, I was hoping I'd come up with a joke by the end of that sentence. Oh well, okay, bye. No, wait. We had sex, right? <sighs> well, Damn it. You know what's right for your small business. I pick the right tools to click with my clients. When it's game time, I have the right answer, no matter the playing field. Your small business is unique. So is our coverage. Hiscox. Get the right insurance right now. I don't think they'll do it if you're not in. Oh, that's flattering, but I'm still not in. You're the neurotic moral center of the group, Aaron. We need you. Jack, if you think this date's gonna end with my pants in your oven, you're wrong. I got you present. What? I got you going away present. Okay, except I'm not going away. It's just open. It's a Whiskey Castle music box. A whiskey Castle music. music box. Look, it plays a song. Catskill Jamboree. No, I don't know what song that is. I just made it. Okay, Jack, I'm not going to San Francisco and I don't need a Whiskey Castle music box. Yeah, okay. Aaron, what are you worried about? Well, I don't, I'm not worried. I don't like it. Do you know me at no, all? No, not the other thing. What am I worried about? I'm worried about raising a kid while starting a company. I'm worried about moving to a whole new city. I'm worried about Lisa and I'm wanting to go. Oh, Lisa will go. If you ask her, she'll go. Lisa's the coolest thing about you. Okay. You want to know what I'm worried about? I'm worried that we do this, that we take this huge risk, that we put everything in the line, and then the person that's supposed to lead us fails. And then everything goes to hell. I'm worried about you, Jack. 
come see me away Cause we're riding at sunrise I know, I know, I heard you the last 600 times. The thing is, I think I slept with a sociopath. Aaron's gonna be so mad at me. So I'm still not really sure what I'm saying here, huh? You know, I can just do You'll it. You'll be fine, Aaron. Just talk about the product, tell them about what it does. Nobody's ever done this before, hit that. Yeah, I would throw around the word revolutionary. Okay. Okay. Yeah, or I could just do it. Aaron, one thing, the launch is in nine months. Nine months, got it. Or we could just ignore everything I'm saying. Done. That's really important. If you say nothing else right, the one thing you have to remember to say is the official launch is happening in nine months. Okay. Nine months. Wait, how many months? Okay, good. I'm gonna write that on your hand. Okay. You must be the C3D crew. We are so excited to have you here. By the way, I'm Shira. Oh, we know who you are. Oh, thought she was your shadow. Bryn's neck deep in laundry day. We're really happy to be here, Shira. Your show is great. Oh, thank you so much. And you must be Jack. No, Aaron, the CFO. Jack's gonna come. Okay, kids, sorry I'm late. Finally. Oh, God, you've got to pick a brighter place to stand. Shira Lazar. You're Jack. You know, when I first heard I was doing What's Trending, I thought, well, you know, the same thing everyone thinks when they hear a web show. I thought, gross. But you've got a thing here, Shira. You guys are doing something special. That's a horrible compliment. Well, I also admire your and I have a boyfriend. ability to interview. Hmm? Jack, you're going live in five. Try not to be too charming. Well, I can't promise something crazy like that. But I also can't promise to care that you have a boyfriend. OK. Where the hell were you? Okay, well, it all started with me working on all those bullet points you wanted me to memorize. Oh, yeah? And how did it end? Jesus, come on. Yeah, and then, and then I had to catch a cab because... Oh, can you pick the lock on this? You do realize I'm not actually Lisbeth Salander, right? Okay. Well, wish me luck. Jack, you know what you're doing, right? I always know what I'm doing. Why do I have the feeling something terrible is about to happen? Tell me more about C3D. It's Skype with holograms. You can see your parents, your long distance lover, your kid in Afghanistan. You can see them like they're right in front of you. Wow, and actually, wait, are you, are you handcuffed to a piece of wood? <laughs> it appears that I am. Care to explain? Well, it's a short explanation. I lost the key. We lost the key to... To the cuffs. I lost the key. You've been getting a lot of press, so it seems that people are interested. Of course they are. C3D is the future of communication. Well, he's good at talking. So you're not worried about off yeah. a bit too sure of yourself? I... I left my girlfriend and a cushy job in New York City to move to San Francisco and put all of my money into C3D. I'd be in trouble if I wasn't sure of myself. And you don't see any problems on the horizon? None that we can't fix. So when do we get to see C3D in action? I'm, I'm sorry, what was that? When's the official launch of the product? He has no idea. The season's turn and we're reborn inside a lockbox where the worms are in the wall. Jack. You've got great eyes. When's the launch party? And mind you, I don't love complimenting a woman's eyes. It's cliche and frankly a bit too loving. I'm not ready for loving. No, well, let me let me rephrase that. This is the trainer. Loving is not. When ready. is the launch party? Three months. Oh God, no. Three months. That seems a bit ambitious. It is ambitious. The whole damn project is ambitious, but it'll be done in three months. And we're going to throw the biggest, best party this town has ever seen because we're New Yorkers, Shira Lazar. And if there's one thing we know how to do, it's throw a party. In three months. In three months. 
That's it. We're done. We're totally and completely done. You don't have to worry about me, Aaron. No? Because I'm pretty sure you're about to drink a castle full of whiskey. No. My whole career's been building to this. I can do this, Aaron. I won't fail you guys. Plus, I think you're already in. How do you figure? Because you've been here with me all day and you have a wife and kid at home. Only reason you haven't left yet is because you're afraid to go home and tell Lisa that you're moving everyone to San Francisco. This is a big thing. Yeah. I'm saying moving to San Francisco. This, this is a big thing. Yeah. You sure we're going to be okay? I'll make sure that we are, Aaron. I promise. Okay, Mr. CEO. I'll be right. Aren't I always, though? Oh, hey, oh, hey, I wish I could stay, but this night hides spite for life. Oh, hey, oh, hey, come see me away, cause we're riding at sunrise. The first thing any detective will tell you is don't get too close to your clients. So, anyone call the police? No, not yet. Good, no police. Great, no police, no report, no insurance money. That should be good. Look, this is how it works in Silicon Valley. A tech startup gets trashed, chances are it's not a random crime. Someone's paranoid since the break in. Congratulations, boys and girls, you have got yourself an enemy. some chalk on the side of the road I hope one day you'll find it then you'll know just where to go